Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you how you can bring devices, LoRaWAN devices on the Things Network, Community Edition, and to Datacake. For this demonstration, um, I've created a new account on the Things Network, and that's what you are going to do if you want to start with LoRaWAN and the Things Network. I've registered a new account, and in here you find the console, and this is where all the things happen and start with LoRaWAN. We are going to select the Europe console because right now I'm based in Europe and I am, yes, I want to use that account. This is a special account created just for that video. And this brings me directly to the overview. And in here you have gateways, gateways and applications. And the first thing that we need to do is to create an application. And now I'm going to fill the parts in here. So this is what you need to enter. Um, first ID, this is all that it's required. You can put an extra application name and a description. Let's create this application. This brings you directly into the next screen and this is where all the things happen where you can uh, manage your devices and see integrations and so on. So now let's go ahead and create our first LoRaWAN device on the Things Network console. You press on that uh, on end devices. This is where all your devices are being listed. And then there's this blue button and you click on this button to add your first device. Because we want to add a Dragino device, we can search for it here. That it says Dragino is the manufacturer. The model is the LTC2. Um, we leave this to unknown and we select um, 0 0.1, the profile. Um, we need to select European profile because we're in European and this is a European device. So it has the um, 868, megahertz frequency. When you select this, um, this shows you, okay, this is this device. And now we can continue to step number two. We need to enter registration data. Once more, we need to select the profile. We select the second one in here, the Europe frequency, and this dates, this is recommended. So we select this. Now we need to enter three different kinds of uh, numbers. And these are typical for LoRaWAN devices, which is the app UI, the dev UI, and the app key. They are written down usually on a sticker or you get them in some kind of paper um, in your shipment note, um, or it's also written on the device. I've written them down to um, this editor here before, and I'm now simply going to copy them. First of all, the app UI. This identifies the device with the application on the Things Network. Then I'm going to copy the dev UI, fill this, and last but not least, the app key. This also creates an end-device ID. This is the ID which the Things Network is using for um, yeah, managing the devices. Um, we can leave it and we can press on register and device. This brings us to the device view. And what we now can do is we can activate that device and see the data coming in. You can see the first two messages, which is accept join request. Let's see all activity. Join request. The device was sending something like, hey, I'm here, please accept me. Um, the thing stack was sending back, okay, well, I accept you because the keys match and everything else. And then it was sending the first data. And actually you can see already the temperature data here, the battery, because that's a temperature sensor. So this is all we needed to do to bring devices to the thing stack. What we are now going to do is we are going to forward data to Datacake. For this, let's go ahead and create our first account on Datacake. Um, creating accounts on Datacake is free, so you can always try it out um, and no need to spend anything on that. So let me fill this form in. Okay, so simply enter your name and email the password and press on create account. This will bring you directly to your first workspace. And as you can see, there are no devices yet, so we can start setting up our first device. For doing this, we are pressing also on a blue button, similar to um, the Things Network. Um, this will bring up the first or um, a device ad model. And in here, you can also select various manufacturers. So from that list of manufacturers, we are going to select Dragino, Dragino. And then we are also going to select the LTC, wait a second, LTC number two. We press on next. And now we are asked for the network that we want to use. Of course, we want to use the sync stack. We press on next. And now we also need to enter the dev UI. So once more, I'm going to copy the dev UI from here, um, back into Datacake, paste it here. And then I can say TTN temperature sender 
zero one. We press on next. And as I've said, we support up to two free devices. You can select the free plan at one device. And this is now added to data cake and already comes with a dashboard. The only thing that's missing now is the data that was sent from the device to bring that on data cake. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, we need to create um, a token which we can use for the Things Network. So on the sidebar here, you find the members section. Here you can invite different kinds of members via email and you can also create API users. Click on API user and then click on that blue button again. And this opens up a modal. It asks for a name, we call that TTN token. And the only thing that we need to do is we need add permissions for all devices in here and then check mark this can record measurements that that token is allowed to record data on your devices. We press on save. This creates a token and I'm now going to copy that token and back to the things network. Also on the sidebar, you find the integration section. If you click on that, um, this will pop up a couple of options. Here you cl uh, click on webhooks and in webhooks, you click also on the blue button and then you can select data cake from that integration here. Um, we call that data cake integration. And now we need to paste the token that we just copied and press on create data cake webhook. It's now pending. That means that no data has yet been forwarded, but I'll now trigger a new publish from the device. But first of all, let's go into data cake, back onto devices in that device. And now I'm going to send another data package. And yes, as you can see, the sender was sending new data and this data is now shown on the dashboard. We can also see the data in here. Let's click on end devices. And it was sending this to uh, 21.45 degrees. Um, we can see that on the dashboard and this is it. This is how you connect devices from the thing stack to data cake. Also, if you want to troubleshoot um, the integration, we do have a debug section that tells you what is going on. This says, okay, it has received the webhook from the thing stack, and this is what the decoder that's running on DataCake um, has returned to the device. Um, and also on the dashboard, of course, you can always feel free to just take out the elements that you don't want, like the second channel, because it only has one channel and can replace the elements just like you would like your dashboard to be, uh, to look like. Last but not least, there's also the option to send downlinks from data cake to that device in order to configure some kind of things like transmission intervals, um, the second PT100 channel and stuff like that. But right now, um, the data cake integration is not yet configured to send downlinks to that device. So this is what we're going to do now. And to do, in order to do that, we press on configuration um, on your device on data cake. We scroll down until we reach to the lower event section. And in here, you see the network server. You can also see that downlinks are not configured yet. And in order to do that, you press on change, and then you find various additional options in here. The first thing that we need to do is enter the TTI dev ID. We go back to um, the thing stack, and in here, we have this device ID and a copy button. We click on that, back into data cake, and we simply paste this in here. Now we need to provide the TTI server URL, which is um, the URL from this application in here, but only the first element. So we copy that back to data cake and simply paste this here and make sure that it's only the eu1.cloud.thethings.network and nothing else. Now we also need to provide the TTI dev, uh, the app ID, so the application we've been using to place the senders in. This is um, under applications. You can find the data cake demo app or the name that you provided. Also, we copy it back to data cake, paste this here. And last but not least, we need to create um, an API key. This is important because we want to authenticate data cake to your devices and you do this by pressing um, on the sidebar on API keys, you create a new API key. We call that data cake downlink key, for example. Um, we just leave this here, press on um, create it, and we're going to copy it. Yes, I have cop copied it. You can only copy it once. This one is not the key. This is just like an identifier, but the key can only be copied once. 
um, back to data cake and we're going to paste this here. We press on update and we're now all set to send downlinks. So downlinks work um, directly on data cake. You can place them on the dashboard, but also from the downlink section. And I'm going to show you how this looks. Okay, this is the activity that we have. Um, we can also see the um, device in here. Let's see on um, all activity and now I'm going back to data cake and I'm going to send this send the um, set the transmission interval to every five minutes I'm going to send the downlink this downlink was sent to the LNS and we can see okay it has received the downlink here and the next time this sensor will um, send a new uplink it will receive the downlink and from there on it will start transmitting every five minutes instead of every 15 minutes yes that's how you enable downlinks bidirectional communication on data cake and the things network okay that was the video um, about how you can add your devices from the things stack to data cake um, if you have any questions or troubles getting your devices on data cake you can feel free um, to use our live chat or shoot us an email and yes we're happy to help thanks for watching and stay tuned